legendary. What is up guys, Chris so 5 here with another video. Today I'll give you some tips and some gameplay on a not so popular even shaman deck that does really good in the current meta. I actually saw this deck from Dexter on his channel. I really like this dude's style and he even hosted me twice on his Twitch and I am just very thankful for that, so I decided to do a shout out for him on my channel. If you still haven't checked his, here's a link to it in the card up top. So here's the deck list. As you can see, the elemental package has been reduced a lot, opting out the two Phoenixes and Kalimos for more consistent cards like Argent Commanders, Iron Dwarf and my personal inclusion Defender of Argus. Also knife jugglers are swapped for the healthier Amani Berserkers and surprisingly even Lich King has been swapped for a Bone Mare. Lich King is strong but most of the time he gets removed from the board before you can start swinging whereas the Bone Mare distributes 9-9 worth of stats on 2 minions and you can slap with the plus 4 attack on the same turn, so it is really strong. On the mulligan you go for 2 drop dudes and a 4 drop. Including the Argent Commanders in this deck really helps out your Corpse Takers since they give you the Divine Shield even after you draw Alakir. Speaking of the Windlord, he is insane in this deck and if you are able to drop him while you have a Flame Tongue Totem on the board you can start dealing some serious damage as soon as turn 8. Hagata is the other MVP of this deck and she can win some impossible games too if you get some good pulls from her. I try to play her on curve when I have the opportunity so I can maximize on her passive hero power, but there will be times where your totems are the better choice, so be careful with that one. Positioning with this deck is really essential since you have so many buffs and you should always think how you can maximize your positioning. Anyway, here's the deck in action. I started with a great 4-0 win streak, but I ended up something like a 65% win rate while climbing to rank 4. I might even use this deck to climb to legend for this season too, but I will need some more games before I'm sold on it completely. Enjoy the games! Here you go mate. Here's my tip for the Midsummer Festival. Okay, another Warlock. I guess that's all we're gonna play against. Uh, Primal Totem, well if it's not Control, which it probably won't be this time, we actually prefer to have it, don't we? I think we do. Earth and Might. I think we can use it. It's not the perfect card, but I think it's fine. We have Coin, we have options here. Turned our curse into our strength. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna reach 3k gold, dude. That's two weeks of double gold. Even if you only get 50 gold quests, that's uh, 1400 gold just from the quests. That's just insane. Oh, this guy's even. Even is bad for us. I kept the primal thin, but. Argus here. Oh, okay. That's that's good. That's even better. Again, I'm gonna tap first. Yeah. Perfect. And we're killing the free one, so he doesn't get a defile there. Hey, Zerokai. Thanks for joining, dude. Fire out. What are you gonna do about the corpse taker?
Okay. Hero power with an Argus feels good. Perfect. My shield Chill out. Chill out. This is the place, right? What can go wrong? A defile, I guess. And him trading. Or even Hellfire and trade would be even more devastating. Yeah, that's kinda bad, but he is at such low health. I think we are fine. This he can't even amethyst this to lifesteal. That's the beauty of it. I think he's done. He doesn't have 8 mana for Lich King. He can play the 7-7, seven, seven, but we can hex that. Okay, 7-7 seven, seven incoming. Hex, weapon. Although, we would really like to play... wait. Yeah, we are playing Alec here, aren't we? Or did I mess up? Did I mess up? Oh, lethal. Lethal. I see it. Lethal. Nice soup. Nice soup. Dex is doing really great. 4-0 so far, but let's not forget I was 4-0 with Murloc Shaman as well. Okay, just the Corpse Taker. Okay, so I guess we just tow them up. Next turn we can play a Flame Tongue, and the turn after that, Corpse Taker probably, but we'll see. That's a weird deck. Guess we trade like this. Maybe I should buff up my flame tongue here. And put Argus here so they're out of range for a lightning storm with no spell power.
Okay, that's annoying. But he coined it out, so I guess he knew what's up. What you gonna do now, bitch? Okay, let's massage that face, shall we? Here's a vigorous massage. You know, shutter walk. Mm -hmm. I think we just go face with everything he. I'm trying to set up a lethal for next turn, so it doesn't matter if he draws a card on the end of his turn. That's a bit annoying, but he overloaded twice here, and we still have a minion on the board, and GG. Yep, we do. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it was a real happy ending. Okay, let's see if we can reach rank 4. Uh, sorry I was a bit inactive on this on the chat. Uh, so, yo, let's do it. Tomorrow I got nothing to do, so yeah. <laughs> do you know any friends today from when you were in school? Um, yeah, I know a lot of my friends from school. I... Uh, I contact them regularly. Well, regularly is a strong word, but... We do talk, at least on phone, on Facebook, stuff like that. A tempo rogue list? Sure, mate. Send me the code and I can try that. I would enjoy a tempo rogue, actually. I prefer faster decks. Yeah, tell me about it. The Spell Hunter games were like hell for me. 10 minutes, literally 10 minutes for each game. Too much. Let's get a Primal Fin out, see what he does. Okay, flame tongue. And I think I am gonna coin out the eel. Because I don't want to kill my totem. The fastest deck I climbed with was Odd Rogue, I think. It took me. Pff, Three hours to reach Legend from rank 3, the Legend did it in a single stream, guys. Yeah, thanks, I will try it these days. Not today, though. Oh, come on, don't kill that. Why you have to be like that? Okay, we're gonna test out all of his secrets with a single 
attack, so it's fine. It's fine. Oh, perfect. And take that. It's a spell hunter, I guess. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, the other fast deck I climbed with was uh, Ad Ad Paladin, but he was a bit slower than the Ad Rogue, to be honest. So, he killed that. <sighs> Let's do this. Question is, do I want to give this to my totem? I think I do. Because if he has hounds, well, he can kill it with hounds now too, isn't it? But whatever. <laughs> okay, I don't think he has hounds. I think he has uh, the trap, the trap thingy, but that doesn't really matter. Ooh, that's strong. Now he's gonna kill three minions, four? Yeah, four, nice. Good job. Still not enough. Yeah, I don't care how much you are. Okay. I would have loved if he had a Leog there instead of Huffer or Misha, but oh, perfect. Yeah, GG. Rank 4, boys. So. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Thanks for watching guys. Again, a huge shout out to Dexter for showcasing this deck. You can check his last two videos about it on his channel. I'm Chris05 and I'll see you on my next video.